Hello, viewers and my dear students. Welcome to session one of problem three, demo on CNC manual part programming for a turning profile using Denford Fanuc turning simulation software. These are all video tutorials on CNC manual part programming of different turning exercises using Denford Fanuc turning simulation software. See here, uh, this is another problem. There I have made a small change. And this is the profile as you see here. And as I said earlier, I have been repeating the same things again and again. The profile is given in this way. And you have to take the coordinates of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I in terms of X and Z. X is perpendicular to the axis and Z is along the axis. Okay. Now, as you see here, A, as you know, X is 5. At, at that point, Z is 0. And B is, if you look to this carefully, it is at B, it is X is 10. And Z is minus 10. In that way, we calculate for different uh, 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 the points here. C, D, E, F, G, H, I and all that. In that way, we will be doing the part programming. Okay, manual part programming. This G71 multiple turning. This is a pre-program which will help in this rough turning of this. And G70 will help in finish turning of the same thing. Now, as you know here, it is more or less the same as the previous problem. But only thing is, I have, I have told here, you should leave an alliance of 0.1 mm on both X and Z after rough turning. That means, that is after rough turning, an alliance of 0.1 should be retained. In the previous problem and all that, I had left an alliance of 0.5 on both X and Z. Now I am telling, uh, leave an alliance of 0 0.5, 0 0.1 mm on both X and Z. And take cut increment. Here in the previous problem, the cut increment was 1 mm. So the diametrically it used to reduce by 2 mm. Now it is cut increment is 0.5 mm. In that way, diametrically it reduces by only 1 mm in every cut. Now also I have told, uh, assume 35 mm per minute for roughing and 25 mm, mm, millimeter per minute for uh, finishing. And spindle speed to be 1200 RPM during rough turning. Now here in this problem, I have taken two separate tools. One tool for rough turning, one tool for finish turning. Rough turning speed is 1200. Finish turning speed is 1450 RPM. Okay. This is 1200, 1450 RPM. Now see here, as I said, we will have the coordinates of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I and all that in the program. And using G71 and G70 cycle, we will get the profile exactly in the way I want after rough turning. An alliance of 0 0.1 should be retained on X and 0 0.1 should be retained on Z. Okay. Now you see here, as you see here, now one tool one, I'll take roughing tool. Tool two, I'll take finishing tool. Okay. And operations are rough and finish turning. And feed is 35 mm per mm for rough, turn, rough turning, 25 mm per minute, 20, 25 mm per minute for finish turning. And speed is 1200 for roughing and 1450 for finishing. This is a simple planning and operation sheet. What I have shown you, what is common in any in industry. See here. Now, as usual, I am uh, telling you, carefully observe. See here. Now, the diameter is 30. Okay. And diameter is 30. Your uh, workpiece diameter should be more than 30. Okay. That is why I have taken 32. Now, you count this 10. 15, 25, 30, 37, 42, 47, 52, almost 52 mm. I have taken around 60 mm, okay, because some 8 mm will go inside the check and all that. Looking at the drawing, okay, you give the billet size little more than the diameter, little more than the length, okay. Billet X32, Z60 I have given. This is the thing, what you do. G21, G98, G21 is the metric input, G98 is the feed per minute. And G28, U0, W0, you please understand, wherever is the tool, okay. First, as soon as it encounters, it will go to the home position, okay. Home position may be some, let us say, uh, uh, that is 300, 200 means. In, in fact, it will be the specification of the machine, 300 mm length. If it is 300 here, Z is 300, this is 200 means. 
maximum 200 mm uh, uh, that is uh, that is uh, from h uh, form position it can come 200 mm in x and uh, if this is some uh, 300 mm 300 mm in z it can move okay in that way let it say this is the home position from the home position it comes to it comes rapidly to this tool entry point that is 32 1 i have told okay now as you see here this is g21 g98 that is the initial setting metric input and feed per minute and all that and now it has gone to the home position it has gone to the home position from there it comes from the home position the tool comes okay that uh, that is uh, I have changed the tool to 1. That is, this is the roughing tool. M06, T01, 06, 1 minutes. It is the roughing tool first I am using. Okay. Then, initially, as per the problem, it is the roughing tool and it should be rotating at, uh, the spindle speed should be 1200 RPM. I have stuck to that only, 1200 RPM. Now, fast G00, rapid traverse, it is a machine dependent feed from the foam position, it comes rapidly to this position, tool entry point, that is 30 to 1. That means it is already 32 and that means 1 mm away from the workpiece. It is not dashing against the workpiece. It is 1 mm away from the workpiece. It is there. Okay. Now, this is, this you should understand, tool entry point with rapid traverse. G00 will indicate rapid traverse. It is a machine dependent feed, which we don't have control. The machine itself uh, will control this. And the foam position, it comes rapidly to this position. Now you see here, now we'll start doing the programming. G71, rough turning cycle. I, in this problem, I have given diametrical reduction, that is depth of cut is 0.5. Cut increment is 0.5. That is why cut increment 0.5 if you. Every time it cuts, the depth of cut will be 1 mm. 1 mm. Not that, uh, in the previous case, it was 2 mm because depth of cut was 1 mm. Cut increment was 1 mm. Now, the uh, cut increment is 0.5. Diametrical reduction after every cut is 1 mm. R1 is radius or uh, retract distance. After every cutting, the tool moves back by 1 mm. That is the thing. G71, U.5, R1. That is the significance of that. That I have already uh, given in the previous slide. G71, P10, Q20. You see here, I made a small change here. I have not given the sequence number for each and everything here. Okay. What is important to us? That only I consider. These are all the small changes what I have given here. See here, G71, P10, Q20 means I don't give the sequence number everywhere. Wherever the program exists, that is N10 and N20. Between N10 and N20 is the actual program. Okay, here I have given N10 and N20. In between I have not given. And clearly I have clearly given it is G71, P10, Q20 that is do the rough turning, that is multiple turning between N10 and N20. And after rough turning, you leave an alliance of 0.1 on X and 0.1 on Z. Okay. If you see anywhere, if it is 25 mm, it is here. It is 25.1 here, 0.1 here means it is after rough turning, it will be 25.2. Then 0.1 will be the depth of cut. Okay. So that, that will be, that point 0.1 will be removed during finishing. Okay. That is you point 0.1 is point 0.1 here, point 0.1 here. So that after rough turning, it is not 25, it is 25.2. That point 0.2 will be removed during finishing. Okay. In the same way, wherever you have the diameter, no, even here, this 30. 30 means point 0.1 is here, point 0.1 is here. It is 30.2 actually and point 0.1 will be removed during finishing so that it becomes 30 okay and even here if this is 10 no this is on uh, w, u is along x w is along z alliance on z is 0.1 in that way it is 9.9 .9 it would have cut and during finishing it will be 10 okay even here it is 15 no it is 14.9 would have been cut during roughing and that uh, 0.1 will be cut during finishing okay P10, Q20, U.1, W.1, feed 35. Feed 35 they have given for rough turning and you take the same feed 35 as per the problem. Then N10, G01, X5. You just see A. Tool moving to point A. Then G01, X10, Z minus 10. That is this point. X10 at this point. X is 10. 
z minus 10 tool moving to point b then g01 z minus 15 tool moving to point c at this point the if i not given x it is a previous x only takes it is x tends z minus 15 that is c okay that is the thing then g02 so that is circular interpolation this is clockwise that is why i have taken g02 please understand this is g02 circular interpolation x20 at this point x is 20 z is minus 25 at this side z is minus 25 i have taken radius to be 10 that is tool moving to point d then tool moving to point e is g01 that is linear interpolation okay linear interpolation g01 z minus 30 at e x is constant e is minus 30 okay e is minus 30 in that way you take then here f no it is circular interpolation anti clockwise or cutting anti clockwise e to f you see it is g03 x25 z minus 37 radius 7 this now you come to point f this is g03 x25 z minus 37 radius 7 that is f then f to j is a plane turning okay x is constant only z is varying okay g01 z minus 40 uh, 42 g01 z minus 42 tool moving to g and then now you see here it is a taper turning where i will be moving now if i don't give automatically it takes g01 okay it's a taper turning linear interpolation g01 even if you don't write the previous one only it takes x30 z minus 47 that will be tool moving to h okay then n20 that is the end of the program n20 it is at point i it is z is minus 52 in that way i have completed the program that is rough turning rough turning portion i have completed between p10 q20 means between n10 and n20 you have the rough turning with alliance of 0.1 left 0.1 mm left on x and 0.1 mm left on z now what i do is in this position in this problem i have made a small change i am sending the tool to the home position okay that roughing tool i will go to the home position it will go to the home position now i will call a different tool m06 t0202 it is a finishing tool i am calling i will have to select the finishing tool during simulation also okay then as you see here m03 s1450 this is the thing what they are given change the speed spindle speed to 1450 because during finishing the spindle speed has to be increased for better accuracy and better finish that is why that is during finish i have changed the speed to 1450 then g00 x32 z1 the finishing tool will come as usual to x32 z1 that is the tool entry point then one command itself is doing is uh, is doing the entire finishing g70 p10 q20 f25 means between n10 and n20 is the program do the finishing that means remove the alliance of point one on both x and z with a feed of 25 and then the finishing tool will go to the foam position g28 u0 w0 m05 stop the spindle m30 program stops and rewind okay that means the cursor will go to the initial position now as i've done in this problem okay it is same as the previous problem but only thing is i have taken two tools here one tool for roughing one tool for finishing and for uh, roughing speed roughing speed if you see here roughing speed was 1200 rpm and finishing speed was uh, finishing speed was 1450 okay roughing speed was 1200 and finishing speed was 1450 roughing feed was 35 finishing feed was 25 mm in that way we have finished the manual part programming of this this program has to be entered in funup turning simulation software and there we will execute in the session 2 we will execute the same program program in the funup turning simulation software and we'll see how exactly it works whether it goes as per our commands okay now we have come to the end of session 1 of problem 3 thank you friends thank you very much for viewing thank you